know Sam Parson personally, or do you know him at all? Yeah, so uh, I met Sam. I obviously played against him a few times, but I met Sam um, mainly at the Manning Passing, uh, Passing Academy uh, last year. Um, we became pretty good buddies. Uh, just, a, just a normal dude outside of football, easily, easy to get along with. Um, so you know, I have his number, and we've texted back and forth, you know, here and there. Not this week, obviously, just because we're playing each other. But uh, here and there, we've had uh, some conversations. But he's a really good dude and a great football player. So yeah, we've, I've de uh, developed a good relationship with him. Did y'all have? Did y'all talk during the transfer portal process and kind of share? No, not really. I mean, like I said, I've said this before, the transfer portal process was so fast. I mean, it just happened like within a month. Like you had to make a decision within like four weeks. So there was not much talking really. It was just kind of everyone for themselves figure it out, right? Well, really, you got a game out of, out of the way now, and now you come here to to the Carter for the first time. How excited are you for for your appearance in there? Yeah. And, and it's against Notre Dame. Yeah, no, it's a huge game for us. Um, I think it's going to be a you know. A, a tone setter for the rest of the season. Um, and then, like you said, coming to Carter Finley, first time I've ever been here. Uh, well, I've been here previously, but you know, finally get to play for the Wolfpack and uh, be a part of this. You know, from whatever, I've, from all I've heard, you know, the fans are great. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be a new or first time for everything for me. Uh, come game day Saturday, so uh, I'm just looking forward to it. And just trying to go out there and play some good football. What do you think will be the biggest challenge uh, facing this Notre Dame defense? Oh man, you know the front seven's really, uh, really tough. So we just gotta, we gotta control the trenches. You know, somewhat up there, we gotta, you know, make sure we establish ourselves. Um, and a lot of, you know, there's been a lot of man coverage, a lot of cover one stuff. So you know, guys are gonna have to win on the outside, and we're gonna have to make plays. You know, I think they kind of saw what I could do with my feet, so they'll probably get some guys spying on me, uh, not trying to let me get out of the pocket too much. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're 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 all around a good defense, really solid defense. Coach Gibson mentioned with the defense, I mean, kind of shaking up some cobwebs in that first week. Um, offensively, I mean, do you feel like there is going to be a huge step up from how you all perform week one versus week two? Just naturally, that's how the season goes. I think um, week one, we just didn't hit some of our layups. You know, like we had some easy conversions on third down that we didn't get. Um, and I think that sustains our drive. And I think the score looks a little different. You know, I think we put up probably 31 or more. Because uh, I think we can get down there on those two drives that we got stalled out on. We went for it on fourth and one. Um, so I think just t taking our layups and just playing the game, it doesn't matter what opponent you play. You know, you got your game plan and you just got to go do it, right? You know, you got your rules to a certain place. You know, I got my rules. Everyone has their own rules. So it doesn't matter really who's lined up across from you. It's just the scheme that they're running and you kind of see the structure of what they're doing and then we play off of that. Um, so I just think we just keep it simple, you know, play hard because the rest of what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to make plays and play hard. But, you know, just keeping things simple and don't let the, you know, the team that's coming in here, you know, the moment, get too big for us. Coach and I have talked a lot about uh, explosiveness uh, in the next game. Uh, what's the biggest point of emphasis in your game that you've emphasized this week in practice to aid that? Uh, just getting the ball down the field right. I, I feel like uh, last game I was just trying to you know take care of the ball, you know, not, don't take any sacks, keep the chains moving. You know, I think that was going to win us the game. And, uh, you know, we didn't really push it too far down the field. It was kind of just getting, get, kind of give me throws and getting the ball out of my hands. So, you know, start to see what we can do there, getting the ball down the field. Like I said, they do play some man coverage, so if we can get the ball up and out um, quick, and we just got to make plays down the field. So I think with that um, possibility out there, that opportunity out there, we can have some big plays. Notre Dame scored a lot of points in the book of their games. Uh, so do you feel like that, uh, you know, you're going to have to... I mean, that's how it, we, have, we have our goals every week, right? We have to score 31 points, and if we get more than that, I mean, that's even better, right? So... Um, yeah, we just got to hit our pillars. We have five pillars, and we just got to hit them. And that, most of the time, that uh, translates to success. We get Douglas. Instead of 31 points, so what was the what if play from last week that would have reached 31 points? Oh, I, just, I, just, I just said it was two drives that we stalled out. We got stopped on a fourth and one, and we just didn't, take our, we didn't get our layup on a hitch on a, um, like a third and seven, which we would have probably got the first. I think if we get those first downs, I think the score looks different. So I think we moved the ball pretty well. Um, and we were probably, I think we were across our 50 at that point. So we would have got some type of points. Um, so yeah, just, I got to send these guys, we just got to take our, make our layups, you know, when we get layups, let's, let's take them, let's uh, make plays off of them. Is that good for Brennan? 